you've got a piece of parotid, a piece of sublingual, and a piece of submandibular. You've got three separate mouths. Now, the staining will be very different between these two different slides. But essentially what we're looking for is the ability to tell the difference between serous acini cells and mucous acini cells. Serous acini secrete a watery serous type fluid. Mucous acini secrete a mucus type fluid, saliva. Okay? And when you look at these things histologically, typically the serous acini cells pick up more stain than the mucus acini. Mucus doesn't like to pick up stain. Now what I've done here is I've drawn how these things can be depicted as sitting next to each other. And in mixed up with <coughs> these acini cells, you're also going to have quite a bit of ductwork that's going to be transporting the saliva into the mouth as well. Typically the ducts stain the darkest, and this is the easiest thing to key on. A lot of people at first blush make the mistake of saying, oh, those are dark, those have to be serous cells. It's not. These are epithelia. They will either be a simple cuboidal or a simple columnar facing the lumen of that duct. So I'll show you that in a minute. Instead, what we're going to be focusing on are cells that are irregular in shape and pick up relatively more stain than cells that are also irregular in shape but very pale and granular in their cytoplasm. The darker ones are always the serous cells, the paler ones are always the mucus cells. Now, it gets a little bit more complicated than this. In certain salivary glands, where you have a mix of serous and mucus type cells, and you don't in all salivary <coughs> glands, only two of those do, but in those that have a mix, it's very common to see a mass of mucus cells with a cluster of serous cells around them to the side. Now I've surrounded these mucus cells in orange here to highlight their shape. That looks like a crescent moon, right? It's orange. This cluster of serous cells capping a mass of mucus cells gets a special name because of this moon-like shape. This is called a serous demi-moon. But they are just serous cells, just like these. The only reason they get this special name is because of that shape, nothing else.